Hey guys, what is going on? I'm David Got Kicks. Welcome back to a brand new video. I just finished wrapping up another pair of the Louis Vuitton bands. So if you guys want to pick some of these up, I will leave a link in the description down below. And we all know the new AirPods that came out, the AirPods Pro, looking like that plant that's a Pokemon. I don't have any AirPod cases for that, but I still have some AirPod original cases. If you guys are interested in picking some up, I will leave in the in the description. <laughs> I will leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Ignore the mess back here, this area. I mean, I kind of wanted to just crop that out, but it's like my room has been going through some changes right now. So I've been living out here. This studio area has been my room for the last week. Week? I mean, like last three months. Just a little fun fact. I've been sleeping here. This futon has been my bed, but it's actually really comfortable. You know, they say if you sleep on a couch, it's better for your back than an actual bed. Stop it. Get some help. I don't know the statistics behind that. I don't know who said that. I just heard it from a whole bunch of people and I heard it's better for your back. Honestly, I picked these up and I never sold them. I never tried to sell them. I never posted them, but I just picked them up just to have it. I mean, it's kind of cool. And honestly, I already ate a box. I'm about to open my second box. I love this cereal. It's one of my favorites. So I'm probably just going to end up eating all this. Dang it. I'm so upset. I didn't get to carve pumpkins this year. My girlfriend probably hates me because I promised her. I'm like, hey, babe, yeah, let's carve pumpkins. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. Got her all excited. And we didn't even end up carving them, man. Such a terrible boyfriend. This is such a dope picture. Thank you again to my buddy Rapcat Wet Media. Always giving us all these gifts, man. And Oh, just such a great friend and I love looking at this because it's just like a constant reminder that my car is just like a piece of trash I'm just kidding. I love my car. Also. I don't know if you guys have been on Facebook or Instagram I don't know if you guys have seen my recent Delta ad I wouldn't say it's a commercial because it wasn't really on TV I call commercials from TV commercials because they were from TV and it's a commercial while you're watching something so I would say this is more of an ad and if you guys want to go ahead and see the video I know it's on Facebook and Instagram I posted it on Instagram so if you look at my name David got kicks you'll see the video and if you haven't seen it yet please do me a favor go comment something positive leave a fire emoji because when it comes to videos like that companies like to see the engagement so it's just little stuff like that that really goes a long way and it really helps support me and my channel and not just for me but maybe you guys got a friend who's launching a clothing brand maybe someone's starting a podcast maybe someone posted a nice picture you know leaving a like and a comment really does go a long way the more you do it to someone the more likely they'll return the favor and they'll do it back to you whenever you post the picture if you show love the love will come back to you all right guys enough of this motivational Gary V speaking let's get this day started Twenty nineteen, we stay getting that bread. No, I'm saying we stay getting that bread, all sorts of bread. If you don't eat a scoop of peanut butter after you use the peanut butter, are you really using peanut butter? All right, got my car all ready to go. Cannot wait to finally wash it. Look at this. It is really dirty. From far away, you can't tell. But once you get up close and on camera, it is dirty. Super sucio. Look at that. After I wash it, later on today, I'll go and take some new pictures. This is the soap that I'll be using. Chemical guys. It's soap meant for satin and matte finish cars. Then I have this to clean the wheels with. Alright, so I just wrapped up washing my car. And look at this cut that I got. It may not look like the biggest cut to you guys. Bro, that hurts so bad. This is so pointy. But yeah, the car's looking nice and clean. But there's one thing that always gets me every time I wash the car. There's always condensation inside of this light. This light is okay. This light I sealed. I don't know if you can tell, but I sealed all that. This side I sealed all this too, but I didn't seal the inside right here. And I think that's where the water is coming in from. So I've seen some videos on how to get the condensation out. You got to get a heat gun. We're going to test that out. Hopefully I don't melt the plastic. But yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, and just like that, it's gone. No more condensation. <laughs> I really hate how the back of my window looks like it's purple in video, but in reality it's not, it's just black. Alright, so I made it to downtown Sunnyvale, there's not a whole lot of cool spots to take 
car pictures, but when it comes to car photos, it's all about the car, not really the background. I mean, the background does add some spark to the photos, but it's mainly the car and the angle you take of the car. So I'm gonna try to work with what I have around here. I just hate that it gets so dark so early now. It's 4.38 and the sun is already going down, but we still have about an hour of sunlight. So let's try to get as many shots as I can. After I get the shots of the car, I'll post them on here and I'll show the edited version. Maybe next video I'll show how I edit the photos. Maybe that will give you guys some inspo on editing photos yourself. Look at you looking all clean, oh man. Sound like you're in the forest with these photos, you know? You gotta go above and beyond. Watch, I'm gonna get an allergic reaction after this. All right, you guys just got to the new location before I was parked all the way over here. Now I moved my car all the way over here. I just drove over all the grass and all the dirt. No biggie. That's a good thing about stretch tires is that you can go over more things. If you guys remember, I usually take photos on top of this parking garage right here. And this is gonna be an AMC and they're gonna have a Whole Foods underneath. This used to be like a mall right here, right here. This spot used to be a mall. And then this has been postponed for like 10 years and now they're finally building something. So yeah, it's lit. I'm excited for that. All right, so it's the next day and I finished editing all the photos. And I realized it's been a couple months since I actually took photos of my car and it really, like, it, it's fun. I don't know if you guys have the same feeling when you go out just taking pictures in general and then coming home and editing them, it's a lot of fun. So I think for the next video that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys out, we're gonna take more photos and I'm gonna come back here and edit them and show you guys how I edit my photos. I'm not a professional, but I'm gonna show you my style and how I like to edit my photos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and go like that recent photo. Also, if you can do me a favor and head over to the Delta video that I posted on my Instagram, it should be the third post if you guys are watching this as soon as this video drops or a couple days later. Comment something positive and I would really appreciate it. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys next time for the next video. It is your boy, David Guy Kicks. Peace.